Okay, hello, welcome. We're gonna make this one just 10 times bigger. I got some very detailed plans here, so this should not be a problem. We're going to increase it by 1 to 10. I'm unsure how to make this. This I'll 3D print. This I'll use an old phone. And this one I'll make out of wood or MDF. And I think I'll fake the different bricks. Okay, cool. The electronics are quite easy, it's just an amplifier with Bluetooth I got from eBay for like $15. It uses a LiPo 18650 battery that I had before and I'm using some really really old speakers that I had from my previous projects. I do need to modify the, this thing a bit because it needs a new on off switch, one that I can reach from uh, the outside. I lost the footage of me 3D printing the handle, but uh, it's a pretty simple thing. I just cut it up and then 3D printed it.
So for this part, we'll be using this 3D printed thingy. The phone's a bit broken, that's okay. It fits right here. This little thingy, make it so that I can turn it on off when I want to use it. For these little thingies, I got a different approach. Let me show you. My original plan was to 3D print uh, just some translucent material and put it on there, schmack. But, but it's not very pleasant. I 3D printed a couple of these for testing and to find the right, right paint. Then I ordered this translucent SLS 3D model. I'll try to paint it with this see-through glass paint. Not super happy how this turned out, but I think it'll work. Some felt there just to keep the phone in play. Or the GUI. Super easy. I just took a high resolution photo, this one, and just drew it up and put it on the phone. This thing finally finished. Ooh. Good and sturdy. 